Hi, this is a prophetic uh, blueprint uh, for Maria. And uh, a pro prophetic blueprint is a look at uh, a person's uh, destiny scroll that's written in heaven over their life and their things that a person is destined to do uh, with their life. And uh, a prophetic blueprint is me seeking the Lord, uh, the Holy Spirit, uh, for what's written on that destiny scroll. Uh, so these are eight things that uh, I saw. Um, I had uh, a little uh, trouble uh, finding them. Um, it took uh, some digging, um, but I eventually came out with eight. I, I, most often I do nine, uh, but I couldn't uh, find the ninth one. Um, so, the first thing on the Destiny Scroll, the first point on the Destiny Scroll, and uh, the most important is that um, you've been called to be a friend of God. Um, uh, it's very important. Uh, to be considered a friend of God and it's very important uh, to be called a friend of God. Uh, it's very important to be called by God uh, to be a friend of God. Uh, uh, I'm a friend of God and uh, I enjoy a good relationship with him, uh, speaking back and forth and uh, communing uh, with God. And uh, um, this is something that uh, you can grow into, but especially important, especially um, meaningful uh, for a person uh, to be a friend of God. Um, I'm squinting a little bit uh, because the light is bright. Um, but uh, uh, it's important to understand what friendship means with God and you can uh, read the relationship that Moses had and uh, what uh, Isaiah had and uh, what uh, King David had. They all had uh, special relationships with God and uh, it's uh, really important that uh, you put the time in uh, to become a close friend of God's. Um, God doesn't invite everyone uh, to be his friend. Um, I'm sure he would invite everyone. Not everyone is prepared to be his friend. Uh, many Christians just have a superficial Christian life and don't put any work into their relationship with God and uh, God uh, desires people to draw close to him and uh, become uh, close uh, to him and that's uh, what he uh, requires of you. Uh, he requires you to become close to him and intimate uh, with him. Uh, point number two is uh, God has called you to be his prophet. Um, I uh, call people prophet. Uh, I don't call them uh, prophetess. Because you're a female and you're a prophet. And uh, 
I just got this funny thing about uh, calling women prophetesses. I, I prefer to call them prophet. God has called you uh, into a deep uh, relationship with him, um, one of uh, depth, one of sustainability, one of seriousness. And uh, he will give you his word. Uh, he will speak to you and speak through you uh, to uh, the people um, that uh, you uh, influence. Um, I can see you learning uh, to do uh, personal prophecies. I can see you uh, learning uh, to do blueprints like this, I can see you growing in uh, wisdom um, and uh, capability uh, to express uh, the heart of God, to express uh, the mind of God. And uh, I can see you uh, learning uh, to walk one and one uh, with God, uh, walking by his side, uh, walking and displaying his character uh, to the world. Um, I can see you uh, having a message and portraying that message uh, to the world uh, that comes from him. Um, I've uh, written uh, 70 books now and uh, I've uh, fully displayed a message from him uh, to the world and uh, I believe uh, God is going to give you a message, a message uh, to teach the world, a message uh, to convey. Um, and uh, there's many books on the prophetic. I've got six books on the prophetic. Um, there's many books uh, to learn about uh, the prophetic. And uh, it's an exciting uh, subject uh, to read on. And uh, through books, uh, through discovery, you discover uh, more about the life of a prophet and certain books and certain things that are said in the books will resonate with you and you'll grow into the office of prophet. Point number three, um, a seer. And I've got interpreter, interpreter of dreams and visions. Um, I can see you uh, developing uh, a website or a Facebook group where you interpret dreams. Um, that's a real specialist ability, but I believe uh, that you have that ability or you have that capacity in you to interpret other people's dreams and uh, I can see you uh, setting up some sort of monetized uh, earning capacity uh, to interpret uh, people's dreams and their visions. Um, I, um, I often uh, tell per people that they're called to be a seer, to see visions and dreams. But uh, <coughs> most of the time, I'm just telling them that, that they're called uh, to be a seer. But in this instance, the Holy Spirit had me write an interpreter of dreams and visions. So I can see you going one step further and uh, 
developing uh, the ability to interpret dreams and uh, uh, having an earning capacity from doing that. Um, I've seen um, Facebook groups where people interpret dreams and uh, the, the people uh, who do it aren't very skilled and um, I won't post my dreams on that uh, Facebook page because um, their dream interpretations seem to offend me, seem to hurt me um, because I've got unskilled dream interpreters there who are just guessing and dreams have a real meaning and uh, their prophetic meanings and uh, um, and if you guess at it you can hurt a person uh, so point number four is uh, i can see you uh, being called as an intercessor uh, praying uh, for other people and interceding uh, for other people um, I sense that uh, you already uh, intercede for people and uh, you have an intercessor's heart that uh, you pray for situations and people and uh, you've got uh, a good praying ability and uh, God has uh, gifted you and called you to be an intercessor. And uh, that's um, pretty clear, that one, to understand. Um, doesn't need uh, much explanation. Point number five, I can see you as a mentor um, and coach, um, discipling other Christians. So I can see you uh, becoming like a spiritual mother and a mentor uh, to other Christians. Um, this isn't um, a paid position, but it's a position in the body of Christ where um, you uh, facilitate uh, people growing and people gleaning off you. Um, and. Uh, being affected by um, what you say and do. I can see uh, people coming to you one-on-one uh, -on -one and uh, being uh, stewarded uh, and uh, affected and discipled uh, by you. And uh, I can see you giving life to people and uh, directing them uh, in the way that uh, they carry on and the way that they live their life. I can see you uh, adding value to people's lives and uh, adding context uh, to their lives and uh, uh, developing helping them develop their Christian life. And um, I sense that you've already been doing this uh, with selected people and, um, and uh, that's going to continue. Um, God has called you uh, to be a mentor and to be a coach uh, to people and disciple people. And uh, he's... Uh, He's uh, guiding you and directing you uh, in that. Um, and uh, yeah. Uh, point number six. Um, I've, I've got here, uh, the Holy Spirit uh, had here a vision caster. Um, I, I can see you. Um, uh, giving people their vision, uh, 
casting a vision over people. Um, and uh, a good way of doing that uh, vision casting is uh, for you to uh, do prophetic blueprints like this. Uh, it gives people um, context uh, to their vision, to what they're called to do. And uh, I can see you uh, developing the ability to do these blueprints for others. Um, what I do is I ask the Holy Spirit for eight to nine points on a person and just go through them and uh, describe each of the eight to nine points over 15 and 20 minutes. Um, and uh, and uh, it's something you can learn uh, to do. Uh, it's something that uh, is uh, part of your ability as a prophet. Uh, you have the ability to be able to hear from the Lord and see things in the spirit. Uh, your seer ability will be able to open up a vision of uh, a person and uh, describe what they're called to do. Um, and uh, I can see you casting visions on people's lives casting a vision uh, for a person's life and uh, directing them. I can even see you um, doing coaching and uh, coaching people into uh, their purpose and helping them get each step, each segment of their blueprint active and having them um, walk into their destiny uh, step by step. And uh, I can see you uh, working as a life coach. So we could call that number nine. We could call uh, life coach uh, number nine. Um, uh, number seven, I can see you uh, operating as a worshipper. Um, you may not be a worship leader, although you could be used as a worship leader. Um, I can see you being used by God uh, and known by God as a worshipper, someone who worships his presence, someone who worships his name. And, uh, and it may be an understated part of uh, who you are, maybe just a silent part of who you are, but uh, God has called you uh, to be a worshiper um, and to worship. Um, and uh, I, uh, sorry for my eyes being closed, uh, it's the bright light, um, but uh, I can see you um, worshipping uh, the Lord, <laughs> like praying in tongues, uh, edifying yourself uh, in worship. <laughs> worship um, and uh, I, I can see you uh, leading others in worship eventually um, and uh, yeah uh, point number eight is I can see you as a teacher um, many people who are called to be teachers have hundreds of questions about scriptures and heaps of questions about the Bible and concepts in the Bible. Um, and uh, they go from question to question and always listening, always researching, 
always uh, looking uh, for answers and uh, a teacher gets the answers and teaches the answers to other people. So I'm not sure how you'll teach, whether you'll teach on blogs, on YouTube, on Facebook posts or uh, writing books, but I can see you uh, becoming a teacher. If perhaps you even speak in churches as a teacher and, and speak. Uh, but uh, I can see you being used as a teacher to teach people um, the word of God, to teach people the fundamentals of Christianity. Um, I can see this as a driving force in your life, um, something that uh, will take precedence over other things and uh, I can see you really uh, flowering and uh, developing uh, in this gift um, and uh, teaching some important things, making some headway and uh, teaching the body of Christ some important things. Um, and uh, number nine, uh, I can see you becoming, uh, uh, as, as well as uh, doing blueprints for people, I can see you becoming a bit of a life coach with people and directing people into their best life and directing people how to steward their life. Um, I, I might not see uh, you uh, permanently doing uh, the role of the life coach as your full-time occupation, but I can see you uh, being used as a life coach in some aspects of uh, the ability. Um, so um, there's your blueprint. Um, I'm, I'm hoping that uh, you enjoyed it and uh, I'd love to hear your feedback.